Hey, River of Life, uh, in an effort to be brief, and because I'm not sure if I'll even have a voice on Sunday, I thought I would share a few thoughts uh, to start our congregational meeting via video. Uh, first, I want to remind us that we want to be this river of life where the river flows, everything will live, that by the power of the Spirit, the people of our church walking and serving throughout the city, living our lives, serving and discipling would bring life to those beyond our borders. And as we consider how to do that, I'd like to think with you for a moment about some of our unique assets as a church. I think it, they form our call. Our call. God put us together in particular ways, and some of those are we have this uh, pretty high value for and ability to help people to grow personally, personal spiritual growth, and we do that a lot through discipleship groups, but I want you to know that uh, discipleship studies are not discipleship. Uh, the discipleship groups are the platform. They are the transferable and multipliable uh, concepts upon which we build the life of discipling, and discipling is walking with each other for extended a period of time that brings transformation. But that personal spiritual growth is a highlight of who we are and what God's made us to be uniquely as a congregation. In, involved in that is this uh, concern for, and I think ability towards, healing and wholeness healing of the body, healing of the soul, healing of the spirit, creating a wholeness in the person. That's very important to us as a congregation. And leadership development is one of our abilities, one of the things that God has sown into our congregation with a number of very qualified people, but also into the heart of our congregation. And we do leadership development in teams. We try not to do anything just alone. We recognize that spiritual growth is walking with others, hearing from others, being challenged and encouraged and strengthened by others. We have a desire to connect with our community, to, to serve where there's opportunity. I, we dream of a day where in, in Jamaica Plain they can call River of Life and we have people ready to serve and meet needs. We also want to partner with organizations that have like-minded desires and uh, ways to serve our part of the city. And we also want to be involved in that, in the gathering of those that God is drawing to himself, that we can help in their discipling process. Along with the community uh, connecting portion, where there's been some things that have gone on since our last uh, congregational meeting in early December. We, the leadership team, uh, watched a 90-minute video that's on training how to be a more caring church in relation to the LGBT community. We have more to follow up with that, ways that we want to start to engage that community a little bit more. Uh, some of us have gone through uh, initial domestic violence training. We hosted that uh, United Prayer Night where there were 16 different congregations represented in our building there. That's a part of our call too. And there's been a lot of work or development uh, with our racial equity team that you'll hear a little bit more about uh, later on. <clears throat> Lastly, the other asset I want to emphasize is uh, our desire to help, reach, serve, to connect globally. And right now we connect obviously with the Red Sea Network in Jordan, but we also connect uh, through the RASTs in Brazil and uh, the Roberts in Thailand. Uh, we also connect um, with Bible translation uh, around the world with Chip and Kathy Sanders. We may be connecting in the future with China. The, this is part of a heartbeat of our congregation also. So I want to ask you, do you agree that these are kind of, um, in, in one way, they're generic to all the church, and in another way, they're uniquely put together for us as a church? So do you agree with it? Do you see God in it? Secondly, do you connect? Do you know how to get in and to be involved in that, to articulate those kinds of things? When that becomes real in us, we want to and need to become more visible, uh, whether that's through our website, whether that's through a sign, or us living our lives more out loud. I believe that we will transform into the next season as a critical mass or a uh, catalytic core of our church 
get this, that we get a hold of God, we get a hold of this sense of vision, and we're willing to serve each other and to serve the kingdom with abandon. And by that, I mean without with restraint, without moderation, without holding back, feeling like this is what God's calling, we're ready to run into it. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. I look forward to the meeting with all of us. May God use this time together as a congregation.